Before we get started, I just want to say that the Superman in the thumbnail is a symbol for saving. So Superman basically saves Dinosaur Simulator. Whatever, let's get into the video. So hey, what is up guys? This is Jack of 2011 here. And welcome back to yet another video. And today I'm going to be talking about how we can save Dinosaur Simulator from dying. Because I just recently, like about two hours ago from when this video is uploaded, I posted this poll like where I asked you guys like, what do you think of Dinosaur Simulator currently? Like, what what's happening? Like, from your own personal opinion slash point of view, 70% said Dinosaur Simulator is gonna die soon, and 8% dino said Dinosaur Simulator is dead right now. So basically, out of 500 people, 70% thinks that it's gonna die soon. And remember, that's the whole community as a whole that is voting there. So 70% of the community, as of yet, Things that Dinosaur Simulator is gonna die soon. And I have some things that could possibly save it, guys. So I recommend that you guys watch the whole video if you wanna know all of them. And also, leave a like if you know who Superman is. Leave a like if you know who Superman is, because why not? I, I don't have any other things to say about the, the likes, so um, leave a like if you know who Superman is. <laughs> but let's just get started. Okay, so the most hated thing in Dinosaur Simulator currently. Is probably the restats so I would say that we need to kind of like revert the restats back back to where they were before because these restats were made by people that want realistic stuff and there were no voting to say like do you guys want restats the developers were like okay guys now we're gonna make restats because uh, that's what uh, 10 people in our discord want like Mate, come on, come on now, like, it's the community that you gotta ask instead of, like, your friends that you are biased with or whatever, like, no hate against the developers, but I suggest asking the community instead of the people that you are biased towards, because everyone is biased towards their friends when, like, they're gonna treat someone differently just because they're not their friend or whatever. And that's basically the case. I all I also do this myself, so it's kind of hypocritical because I, I'm kind of biased sometimes as well. I can admit that and stand beside that. And um, yeah, basically, I don't think the major part of the community asked for restats. Like at least two thirds of the community do not like the restats. So why the heck have nothing happened yet? And it's just broken like we have these super sauropods that are insanely strong and the devs have basically made dinosaurs even better to KOS with because things like Apatosaurus is very hard to range and it is simply so strong that you can basically not kill it like I saw one of Silent Gamers videos yesterday in a war right yes wars are bad guys that that is one of the reasons why dinosaur simulators kind of dying as well I guess but basically, they were using four Apatosauruses, and they could not be stopped unless you used four Apatosauruses or other sauropods yourself. So basically, the sauropods, they are the ultimate KOSing dinosaurs. Of course, you can run away from them, but you cannot do anything against them other than running away. And then there's like the restats as well, the, the drama with Avenicus still costing 200,000 DNA, yet it is trash! Like, we know the... The hitbox is very bad on Evanike, it's like, not as bad as Barrow of course, but it's not very good and the range is not very good either. And for the price and the stats that we're getting, like, it shouldn't cost 200,000 DNA. Like, the developers don't really care anymore. I, I honestly think they don't care how the game is going to be formed. Because I know that the developers do not have any in real life jobs instead of like, compared to uh, Vendigo King aka Mike. Mike actually has a real job, so I can't leave him out of this because he's obviously working his butt off in real life. So don't hate on Mike. He's just growing up, you know, getting to do work and whatever. But Super Nob and Fear no, they don't have any real jobs. They're getting paid by Chicken Engineer. It just seems like they're in it for the money right now. Like, of course, Super has been working very hard and the same for Fear. But they just don't care what the community think. And I think that's a very major part in what is wrong with Dinosaur Simulator. And what should be fixed. Like, the community has to have a say in what's going to happen. Or else it will be a 
fa fail basically a fail yeah that, that, that's a fine word for it so those are basically the restats the restats we gotta fix it by like making someone in between the restats and the old stats so of course a little bit more balancing but a little buff to have an Ikes at least at least a little buff and then nerf the sauropods like to half of what they are right now and that would still be very good of a buff to the compared to like what we had before so nerf them to like half the hp and also the damage actually also the damage so that would that would be very lovely honestly so half the damage of the sauropods and half the hp as well and just give us some of the old stats back like I want Evanikis to almost have the same stats as before, but I do not want it to be able to bleed things like Megavor because I don't think Evanikis should be able to bleed Megavor. So those that is basically all about how to save the restats. And yes, this is a major part of why Dinosaur Simulator is dying for most people. And remember, this is not like the game is dying. This is the game dying for personal personal people like on a personal level from their own point of view so even though new players may come to dinosaur simulator the current generation of people that play dinosaur simulator is gonna die out so that is basically what i mean with all of this okay so second part on how to save dinosaur simulator have chicken engineer give a damn about the game like it seems right now that chicken engineer only adds what the developers do for him like we know Supernop, as I said, Fiona and Supernop have been working very hard on updates lately. But Chicken Engineer is not adding anything. He's just being lazy as heck. Uh, he's not doing anything himself. He's just adding their work and basically kind of taking credit for them. Of course, he's not like saying, oh, I made this model. But it's, it's like he gets the payment for scripts he made three years ago and hasn't updated them. And then he pays a sum to Supernop and whoever developer there is like I know that I remember Blade Ninja told me last year that he got $90 for one model which was the Sarko model I think or it was the Burak model for Dragon Versus so I don't really know how much they get paid at least I would say Supernob needed like $500 for the Albino Terra because she worked so hard on it yeah but basically yeah Chicken Ninja just has to give a damn about the game you know we don't want all of this like, oh, let's just add diamond skins and uh, rainbow skins because uh, everybody loves rainbow skins. Ha, let's do that. Quick cash grab from the people so they don't have any DNA left. <laughs> that's, that, that's basically a good a, a good like view on Chicken Engineer, you know, how he sees things in the community. Like, let's add some diamond skins to uh, grab all of people's DNA. <laughs> yeah. So, that, 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 that's what I think that Chicken Engineer was thinking back when he added diamond skins and rainbow skins. It, it's just a horrible experience, honestly, with these diamond and rainbow skins. And now they're trying to save Dinosaur Simulator by giving us dev source. Like, we know the we got the, what, what's it called, the Wyvern. And you can actually use it as a dev source on Gallus map, as I've already showed a video of. And now we're getting the Violex Behemoth as a mini dev source. Like, what the heck? This is not gonna save Dinosaur Simulator. This is not gonna save Dinosaur Sim Simulator. We need something new, not just more skins. Like, uh, it's come to the point where I won't even call Dinosaur Simulator Dinosaur Simulator anymore. I'd rather call it Monster Simulator because there are more skins than there are dinosaurs now in the whole game. It's insane, guys. More skins than actual dinosaurs. This is not Dinosaur Simulator. This is Monster Simulator. All of these skins are not gonna save Dinosaur Simulator. All of these skins are not going to save Dinosaur Simulator. So those are the restats and Chicken Engineer's involvement in the game covered up. And now it is kind of like... that There are not really many more ways to save Dinosaur Simulator because those are like kind of the major problems. That we, we got terrible restats. Of course, I, I'm kind of fine with them because I like realism, you know. But I didn't tell... Fear not to give us these stats. So don't account me in for that, guys. But the thing is that things like wars are still happening. And the general toxicity in the game is terrible. Like, the community is so toxic. I know you guys are mostly not toxic, at least from the comments I see. But that's maybe because I blocked a bunch of toxic people. Hmm. <laughs> no way. But seriously, 
the community is very toxic when in game and calling everyone a KOS and people are exploiting and such like the game is very vulnerable to exploits because the anti-cheat is trash and chicken engineer doesn't give a damn again again like all of these things are basically connected to chicken engineer in some way or another guys remember that also i gotta make this clear i have no hatred towards any of the devs or chicken engineer it's just his worth ethic that i do not like so don't go and hate on him it's just how he works you know so the toxicity and the wars, like I already told you guys, Silent Gamer was in this war against some crazy Zorbots, and there stood no chance, like they were just KOSing these dinosaurs, and yeah, what the heck man, there's nothing to do, and then when people exploit, and the devs do not really ban them all the time, I know that recently there's come a new thing where the devs can ban exploiters from in-game, which I think is, is kind of cool, but it's nothing too special, of course. And most of the time, the exploiters just leave before the devs can get proof. And what do the devs do then? They may just ban them anyways, even if the exploiter does not exploit while the devs are on the server. So that means that people could frame others for exploit and be falsely banned. So the system is kind of broken right now. The system is kind of broken. And I'd like it to be fixed. I, 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 I could fix it myself but of course I, I'm not a developer so and I will probably never get the authority to do it either because again the developers do not care what the community thinks so <laughs> nice but anyway I think that was basically all for this video on how to save dinosaur simulator like you guys can tell me other ways in the comment section down below if you have any crazy ways that we can save it as well and maybe the developers will see this and think yes we gotta change this we gotta change this guys so that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed, alright? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.